Hello, Ms. Learn Mama here. My name is Nina, and today I'm going to share with you some Amazon Vine beauty items that I've hauled lately. Um, if you're not sure about Amazon Vine, just go back and watch some of my previous videos, because I don't want to explain it in every single video. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm tired of repeating it. So, at first, I got this cute little kit. It came in this bag. And... It, Came with a palette called Look from Capine. I don't know. And now I've seen this palette on Teemu as well. So that's cool that you can get it on Amazon or Teemu. No mirror. This is a plastic palette. Really neutral pinky palette. Super pretty. Got some, yeah, three pressed glitters. Six shimmers and some of the like sequins, the mattes with glitter in them. Let me try out this purple. Let's do this one and this one. And we'll do a matte or not. Wow, those all look the same. So the shimmers seem like they're more like copper shades. Let's do this pink one real quick. See if that's any different. Because those were all pretty light. Mm -hmm. So that's the matte I did over there. It was a it was a light shade that's and on my pinky, so we can looks like it would be pretty blessed. And the shimmers were all really light colors. Which I did this one, this one, this one, and this one. Which, I mean, none of them are really that dark. This purple one has a lot of white mixed into it, so... Not too surprising, but... Oh, let's try this brown shimmer. Maybe that'll actually show up as, like, a champagne. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that's really pretty. The shimmers are, like, really creamy in here. Let's try a darker matte real quick. Why not? So it goes on really nice. I'm actually surprised. Because, like, this whole kit is $20 on Amazon. I got it sent to me to try out, and it had zero taxable dollars. But on Amazon, you can buy this whole kit for $19.99. Up next. From Capin is four color grooming, and I've actually been trying this out. So as you can see, I've been using it. Sorry about the mirror. So it's got your, it's got two contour shades, a highlighting shade, not like a highlighter, but like a lightening up shade, and then a highlighter. So I'll swatch the highlighter for you. It's it's a it's not like a super glowy one. It is a pretty one. Right here. It's more of like a natural glow. So there's that in here. And you get this cute little bag that has a pencil sharpener in it for like the eyeliner and stuff. So you get this cute bag. You get those two palettes. You get a little blending brush. Not great, but it's in there. You get a eyebrow pencil. This says drawing eyebrow black, but the packaging is brown. Just triangle one. Oh yeah, that's definitely black. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with that because it's a little dark for me. I think maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, got a black eyeliner, like the, it looks just like the Shop and Say one. I don't want to open it yet, so I'm not going to. You get two liquid lipsticks from Hendayan, which I really like that brand. Okay. 
Those are the colors. I'm not gonna bother swatching these either. And then you also get four lip liners. In different shades, so you get, and for $19.99 on Amazon, you get four lip liners. Black liquid liner, black eyebrow pencil, a little brush, two liquid lipsticks, pencil sharpener, a contour palette, and an eyeshadow palette. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's a pretty good deal. And then I also got from GJNJ. I don't know. We'll see more on the inside. So this is um, latex tape. It's like nail polish, but you paint on your skin to where you protect your skin from nail polish. And then you can peel this off and around your nails to help make cleanup easier so you don't have to go in and try to clean it up and mess up your nail polish. I got that on there. With zero taxable dollars. Thought that would be really handy to do some cool nail art. And also for Jessica. It would be really handy for her as well. And then let's see. I got this from Lake Rain. Velvet Liquid Blush. And this, I've seen people haul from Tumio as well. Um, I have another one somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, I have another one. So this one is... I don't know, it doesn't say anything to tell you what shade is which. But a pretty pink color. So that's it. Dabbed on. I'm just going to get out. Super pretty and it's dry. Like it feels like a liquid to powder. Maybe it feels like it turns to a powder. So it doesn't feel sticky at all. Oh, it feels beautiful. It doesn't have a smell that I can pick up on. It's always nice. And the other one I got is this shade, which is slightly different. This is more peachy or orange, and this is more pink. So you can definitely like it. probably go in with a lot less than I just did. I mean, this is definitely more of like an orangey red color. Really pretty though. Once again, I can't pick up on a smell. Oh, I have another one of those. I've been wanting to try it with a blush. So this one's more of like a mauve color. So see, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot. I don't want that much. I'm trying not to put a huge glob on my arm. And... Super pretty. And it, just, it dries down so nice, like amazing. And so while we're at blush, might as well go into these ones. So I got these ones are from Kaya Beauty. This is how it's spelled. It's called Dewy Bloom Liquid Blush. And I got three of these. These came together, like in a pack together. So they came in a three pack. So first up we have Ravishing, which is this one. And these ones are the kind where you have to twist the top. 
you get to come out of this little thing. I'll put these ones over here. I'm not sure I have it open or not. Probably not. Nope, I didn't. So this one's a really light color. These ones are real creamy. Really creamy when you rub them on. But once again, not sticky at all. That's really light. You can build these ones up. I have tried this one. I can't smell anything. So that one was ravishing. Next up we have cheery. Spelt like cheer. With a Y. Once again, packaging. Whoop. I don't know. Yeah. So right there. Right there. They dry down really beautifully. They're not sticky at all. And then lastly, we have Rosa. This one's a really pretty color. I should put this one over here, easier to show you. Let me just dab it on. Not sticky, dries down, no smell, gorgeous. Very impressed with those. And then I had one more. No, that's gloss. Let's see. That's the last blushes. I think we're finally out of blush. Alright, so this is a transfer proof glossy lip lacquer from Ferrera. And you can find a lot of Ferrera products on Team U as well. It comes in this fancy looking packaging. It has a smell, but it's like. It's got like a. Like a cake smell, but also like a makeup smell mixed with it. And this is shade Peony. Really pretty shade. Really like that. We'll see how it dries down. I think it's a lip gloss. I don't know if it will. And then I've tried this a lot. I got this on there. I got Lancome Letter 8. No, Serum Infused Volumizing Mascara in Nor Sculptor. I don't know. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is a pricier mascara. Um, the packaging is gorgeous on this. Like, super pretty. And I have been using this. And it's not a mascara. I would pay the price that this would normally cost. I wouldn't pay that for it. Um, it's not something super amazing in any kind of way, except for the smell. It's like, you know, like, beauty influence are always smelling mascara, and they're like, I don't know why I do that, because it always stinks. This does not stink. This smells divine. This 
oh my god, this Milanus, and this is Lancome Paris. Um, so it's from France, it's made in France, uh, but it smells, holy Jesus, does it smell good. Also from Lancome, I did get their new Tint Adoli Ultra Wear Karen Glow. I don't know. It's their foundation that they came out with. It's not that new, but it was on there. And I have worn this a couple of times in videos. And out. Not on videos. And it is gorgeous. And it smells amazing. It feels amazing. But if you have dry skin, it doesn't wear great throughout the day. Um, also, I'm trying to find a primer that this works really good with. Because... Both times I tried it, I tried it with a primer in here, and it did not go well with the primer. But it wore beautifully by itself. So I'm not sure if it's my dry skin causing problems, or if it's the primer I use. Um, and it's not that the primer's bad or anything, it's just that some foundations work better with different primers. Um... So, but this is amazing, and it smells divine. Oh my god. This, I wish I could afford to buy all the time. I wish. I think that's like 60 or $70 a bottle, and I'm a cheap girl. Like, even if I won the lottery, I'd still be a cheap girl. <laughs> that's how I grew up. So, the primer I was talking about is from EXA. Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. Charged to a triple antioxidant blend. This is what it looks like. Comes in a fancy bottle. Once again, glass. Really cute. Really pretty. It's a pump bottle. Um, it smells like makeup. Not like bad makeup or anything. Like, it just has that normal smell. Um, it wears really good. I don't find it very pore filling. Soothing and moisturizing, yes, but it definitely didn't seem to do anything for my pores, so not really. Maybe a little bit, but not much. And so it's okay, it's not one that I would be like, I need that again, you know what I mean? But it's okay. Um, let's see. I just want to do the rest of these real quick. So I got these nail decorations. Super pretty, little blue rhinestone stone bits. And I'm going to stop there for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you like videos like this, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Bye.